As we continue our reporting on the Midas Touch Network about Donald Trump's media company that lost $58 million in 2023, earned only about $4.1 million in total revenue in 2023, when the merger with the SPAC was announced that caused the stock to take a nosedive, and now it kind of fluctuates up and down with uh, really kind of big fluctuations each and every day. We're now learning about a guilty plea by two brothers who helped fund Trump media from the outset. They are pleading guilty to insider trading folks, and uh, the individuals are named Michael Schwartzman and Gerald Schwartzman, who made around $22 million trading off of material non-public information. They now face up to 20 years in prison for their conduct. Does it get any more Trumpy than that? Well, I think it does. At the same time, those individuals pled guilty. Remember the Schwartzman name, I'm going to come back to that individual in just a few minutes. The Guardian reported this exclusive. Trump media was saved in 2022 by Russian-American under criminal investigation. So think about these two headlines. Trump media saved in 2022 by Russian-American under criminal investigation, who's actually the nephew of a Russian oligarch. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And then separately, two brothers who helped fund Trump media company plead guilty to insider trading. Let's just take a look at what the SDNY says about this uh, guilty plea. They describe what went down, how Schwarzman, Michael, and his brother Gerald made more than $22 million dollars in illegal profits by trading in advance of the announcement of Digital World Acquisition uh, that it was going to merge with uh, Donald Trump's media company. Um, it talks about how they even put somebody on the board of Digital World Acquisition Company to funnel to them this material non-public information that they use to uh, trade off of and exploit uh, the market forces and other retail investors. Those individuals have been described here as sophisticated investors who knew what they were doing, who um, utilized their positions within the Trump SPAC to engage in this conduct, and they have now pled guilty. They confessed. They're admitting to it. Now it goes to the sentencing phase, and as I mentioned, they can face up to 20 years in uh, prison. So you take a look at that. Now let's look at this one. Exclusive, Trump media saved in 2022 by Russian-American under criminal investigation. The Russian-American under criminal investigation is different than the Schwarzman brothers who were not just under criminal investigation, but who pled guilty. Here's how uh, The Guardian describes it. They talked about how in late 2021, Trump media was about to go bankrupt. It was in a cash crunch. They needed money. They went to a bank on an island called Dominica uh, and a bank called Paxum. The bank called Paxum was not licensed to actually do business in the United States. So it created a special trust called the ES Family Trust. And then the ES Family Trust was the one that then gave the money in two um, different uh, two, two different dates um, to Trump Media to keep it propped up. There was the first tranche of money that came uh, two million dollars on December twenty third, twenty twenty one, and six million dollars on February seventeenth, twenty twenty two. Now I said I would get back to the Schwarzman name. Now the Paxum Bank employee named Angel named Angel Pacheco, who was on a who was part of the ES Family Trust, a declaration that was uncovered by the Guardian states that if Pacheco were to be removed from the trust or something were to happen, you know who would then become the individual, the successor um, to control the trust? Somebody by the name of. Michael Schwarzman, who just pled guilty to the insider trading, who was also now involved in these two loans 
from Paxson Bank that created the ES Family Trust on the island of Dominica. What Paxson Bank is known for, they do, if you want to call them known for this at all, they do a lot of financing for porn companies, um, and that's their claim to infamy, we'll say. Trade Coffee is changing the way you experience coffee at home. They continuously curate a wide variety of coffees from the best small batch specialty roasters in the U.S., then make personalized recommendations based on what you like or may like to try. Each bag is roasted to order and shipped fresh to you by one of their 50-plus partners. Listen, Midas Mighty, you know that I'm the resident coffee geek here at Midas Touch. I would not vouch for just any coffee company. From dark roasts to decafs, espressos to cold brew and iced coffee, you could discover the best coffee suited to your taste with trade. And it's not too early to begin thinking of the perfect gift for mom, dad, graduates, or your best friend getting married this season. Whether it's a gift for yourself or a gift for a loved one, you can't go wrong with better coffee. I personally like bright, eccentric coffees. I love a good light roast. So I told Trade my preferences and they've nailed it every single time. This is the latest bag I received. This one's from Kuma Coffee, a roaster in Seattle, and the freshness and the flavors are incredible. Plus, I never have to worry about running out because I know my next freshly roasted bag is going to be delivered straight to my door. Do you love coffee as much as I do? If so, you need to try Trade today. For a limited time, enjoy a free free bag and up to $15 off select plans when you visit our link drinktrade.com slash Midas. That's drinktrade.com slash Midas for a free bag and up to $15 off select plans. Drinktrade.com slash Midas. M-E-I-D-A-S. Let's take a look at this Guardian article. Hat tip to you, Lowell. Always does some great reporting. Talks about how Trump's social media company managed to go public last week only after it had been kept afloat in 2022 by emergency loans provided in part by a Russian-American businessman under scrutiny in a federal insider trading investigation and money laundering investigation. Talks about how Trump media was about to fail. Um, but here's what happened. It took emergency loans from the ES Family Trust that I told you about, which opened an account with Paxson Bank, a small bank registered on the Caribbean island of Dominica, D-O-M-I-N-I-C-A, best known for providing financial services to porn companies, anything more Trumpian than that. And it talks about how the ES Family Trust operated like a shell company for a Russian-American businessman named Anton Pastelinkov, who co-owns Paxson Bank and has been the subject of a year-long joint federal criminal investigation by the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security into Trump's media merger. Paxson Bank does not offer loans in the U.S. because it lacks a U.S. banking license and it's not regulated by the FDIC. So Pastelinkov then created a trust to get the money to Trump media. It's being alleged as an end run around our banking laws. Now, Postolinkov is the nephew of Alexander Smirnov, an ally of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. Guardian points out that he's not been charged with a crime. In response to an email, Postalinkov seeking for a po for Postalinkov seeking comment, a lawyer in Dominica representing Pax and Bank warned of legal action for reporting the context of the leaked document. So just think about what's happened over the past 48 hours. You have the financials being released, 72 hours, financials being released, $58 million uh, loss. Uh, $4 million in revenue, $1.2 million in the last quarter. Um, that's not a lot of money. Um, you have Trump's accountant, you know who the Trump media accountant, it's not one of the big four accounting firms that you would expect to handle companies that are supposed to be billion dollars. No, this is the accounting firm right here. Here's their little office building uh, in Colorado. It's called BF Borgers. You want to meet the team of Trump's accounting firm? Here's the team. It's one guy. His name is Ben Borgers, and he's the person who's the uh, CPA for Trump Media, which is essentially uh, un un unheard of um, for a single person to be doing that. But by the way, that's Trump's MO, right? The same way he has Alina Haba as the lawyer, not real, not 
good lawyers. By the way, Borgers may be a good accountant. I'm just flagging how odd that is. And by the way, in Borgers, to his credit, in Borgers' uh, accounting summary, he says that the accompanying financial statements have been prepared, assuming that the company will continue as an ongoing concern. But Trump's own accountant says there is substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as an ongoing concern. Now, some other things to point out, right? Like as if it wasn't enough, the headlines that I read for you about Trump media saved by Russian America, Russian American who's linked to Vladimir Putin, or um, two brothers who helped fund Trump media plead guilty to insider trading. Just think about what else has happened over the past few months. Donald Trump sued the, Tro the Truth Social co-founders one guy by the name of Andy Latinsky, another by the name of Wes Moss. Latinsky was on The Apprentice, saying that they're not entitled to stock shares. Uh, uh, Latinsky and Wes Moss sued Trump in February, then Trump sued them. And then it says that uh, Trump is accusing them of severe mismanagement. Then the media co-founder sued, sued Trump. Then the architect of the SPAC, Patrick Orlando, um, sues Trump and then Trump sued him. So you have all of that happening. So every time, you know, I know Donald Trump, oh, the, the, the deep state's going after me. The lefties are going after me. Just take a look at what he's doing with this Trump media entity and think about the 50, losing money, $58 million loss, very little revenue because he's not a successful business person, in my opinion. He does, you know, quite bad under like 10 million unique users or right around there, not not a lot of users. I've seen some data that it was closer to more like 5 million unique users on, on the Trump, on the Truth Social. You have two of the people who helped fund this thing to start, insider trading, right? You have everybody suing everybody. You've got a loan happening from the island of Dominica from a porn bank to help keep this thing afloat with ties to Vladimir Putin. It's just, it's just the data. <laughs> That's just – now, you may say to yourself, cool, I like that. That's how you do things. I would be shocked if that's how you think. But let's be real and let's talk about that's just – that's what the data is. You you can form your opinion based on, on that data. I'll form my own opinions based on that data. But that's that's the cold hard truth. I'm Ben Micellis. This is the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Have a wonderful day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.